Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Embraer Legacy 450 and 550 production underway in Florida, Wingsuit Jumper claims a distance record, Japanese Flyer wins Red Bull Air Race in Chiba, Japan. I'm Brie Cross, it's June 7th, 2016, and this is Airborne Unlimited. Production of Embraer Executive Jet's Legacy 450 and Legacy 500 is underway in Melbourne, Florida. The company held a ribbon-cutting ceremony last Thursday at its recently expanded facility, where the Phenom 100 and Phenom 300 are already in production. At the ceremony, which included numerous dignitaries, including Florida Governor Rick Scott, the company celebrated the expansion, which adds 236,000 square feet, to its existing 213,000 square foot campus at Orlando Melbourne International Airport. The new 236,000-square-foot facility features four new buildings, an assembly hangar, a paint facility, a completion center, a flight preparation facility, and a new delivery center. Embraer will add 600 new jobs to its almost 600 employees in the area, ramping up hiring through 2020. Governor Scott said, quote, I am proud to join Embraer in cutting the ribbon of their expanded aircraft assembly facility today. Two years ago, we announced that Embraer had chosen Florida as the best location in the U.S. to manufacture their new aircraft. Embraer already employs more than 1,000 Floridians, and the addition of 600 new jobs is incredible news for Florida. A wingsuit flyer may have set a new world record over the Memorial Day weekend with an 18.8-mile flight over Yolo County in north-central California. The flyer, Kyle Lopriz, wrote on his Facebook page that he, quote, exited from a Cessna caravan flying at 36,215 feet over Yolo County, California, to see how far I could soar in my wingsuit. Holding a distance profile body position, I glided 18.8 miles on a flight that lasted 8 minutes and 27 seconds before deploying my parachute at 3,003 feet. Lopriz reported that the ground speed of the aircraft at the time of exit was over 260 miles per hour and the air temperature was minus 52 degrees Celsius, which in Fahrenheit is 62 degrees below zero. The flight has been submitted to the Federation Aeronautique International World Records for wingsuit distance of flight and time of fall, which will review the preliminary claim. After the break, 50,000 cheer for Red Bull Air Race winner. Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration. Welcome back. If you have a story suggestion for Airborne Unlimited, Aero TV, our website or podcast, just email to news-spy at aero-news.net. Red Bull Air Race says that Yoshida Miroya wrote a new page in Japan's sporting history on Sunday, June 6, with his first race win, which is the first ever for Asia at the Red Bull Air Race World Championship stop in Chiba, Japan. They also said the home hero needed luck as well as supreme skill in a breathtakingly close battle where Martin Sanka of the Czech Republic claimed second, while the USA's Kirby Chambliss took third. It's Yoshi Moroya's first race win in five seasons of the competition for the Red Bull Air Race World Championship as the only Asian pilot of what Red Bull calls the ultimate motorsport series in the sky, Moroya showed why his countrymen call him eternal pioneer, logging a historic first for Japan and the entire continent as well, according to the Red Bull report. Maroya said, quote, I've been flying for 25 years and this is my first win, so it's taken a long time. It's a big, big moment. The next race takes place in the heart of Budapest, Hungary on July 16th through the 17th. Every Tuesday, we look ahead at some of the more interesting events in the aviation universe. Here is this week's Aero Calendar. Our Aero Calendar will be listing events that include the U.S. Air Force Thunderbirds and the Navy Blue Angels demonstration team. As a result of accidents occurring last week with both demonstration teams, both have announced a safety standdown is in effect. Some appearances by these teams have already been canceled, and the duration of the safety standdown for the individual teams will depend on the depth and complexity of their respective safety investigations. Our first event is called the Fly Into Summer at Aerospace Discovery, being held on June 11th. 
The Aerospace Center for Excellence will host the event at the Aerospace Discovery at the Florida Air Museum, located on the Sun and Fun Expo campus. This family-friendly event includes free admission to Aerospace Discovery at the Florida Air Museum. The event provides the opportunity to investigate STEM subjects while having fun at the same time. On June 11th and 12th, you can experience the Syracuse International Air Show being held at Syracuse Hancock International Airport. The air show features modern military aviation demonstrations, vintage aircraft, World War II aircraft, and ground displays ranging from drones to vehicles. June 11th and 12th also marks a major air event in Ontario, Canada, with the CFB Borden Armed Forces Day and air show as it celebrates its centennial year. It will be an amazing day that features in a four-hour long aerial display highlighted by the Canadian Forces Snowbirds, the CF-18 Demonstration Team, Canadian Armed Forces Parachute Team, the Skyhawks, and much more. After these messages being tested, pipeline and power line patrol by unmanned aircraft. Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concorde's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concorde, the heart of your aircraft. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. American Aerospace Technologies has successfully completed flight tests for the energy industry flying a UAS from the Farmville Regional Airport in Virginia. They are exploring the use of unmanned aerial systems for power line and pipeline patrols that are now being flown by manned aircraft. The city of Miami, Florida is planning a major air show at the beach for Memorial Day next year. However, it's been reported that some claim this is a racially motivated plan to prevent African Americans from using the beach on Memorial Day weekend. CIE has announced new and extended cadet training agreements. Indigo, India's largest and fastest growing low fare airline, has signed a new pilot training contract with CAE for the creation of over 200 additional professional pilots through 2018. The aerial photography community SkyPixel has launched the 360-degree panorama contest in conjunction with DJI. Users are invited to submit their 360-degree worldview as taken from the air. The grand prize includes a DJI Phantom 4. The Leonardo in Salt Lake City has announced the launch of its crowdfunding campaign in support of their new original exhibit, Flight. At the heart of the exhibit will be a fully restored Convair C-131 aircraft hanging from the ceiling. Well, that's the trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. Lockheed, the company that invented the first jet trainer aircraft in 1948, with its Model T-33, is now looking to win a new training plane contract as a Lockheed Martin company. The T-50A is the company's aircraft offering in the U.S. Air Force's Advanced Pilot Training Competition, and the initial flight test of the aircraft has been completed. Mark Ward, Lockheed Martin T-50A lead test pilot, said, quote, The aircraft in its new configuration with the 5th Gen cockpit and other upgrades performed flawlessly. I have no doubt this aircraft will close the gap, which currently exists between the trainer fleet and 5th generation fighters. The test flight took place in South Korea. According to Lockheed Martin, the T-50A delivers the performance and capabilities needed to prepare pilots to fly, fight, and win with 5th generation fighter aircraft. The T-50A was developed jointly by Lockheed Martin and Korea Aerospace Industries. Well, that's our program for today. Remember to get comprehensive real-time 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed daily Monday through Friday with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. Please join us and a growing roster of over 100 outstanding industry associations and organizations every weekday for the best in aviation and aerospace news from the staff of the Aero News Network. 
the aviation world's most comprehensive news and information resource.